We are not afraid to call out Donald Trump as someone who I believe is essentially traitorous at this point. I mean, I had a top secret clearance. I was an army officer. If I had done what he did, I would have been in jail, 100 percent. No, no questions asked. Uh, and um, that has certainly been part of it. But I think it, it's just gotten bigger than that. All right, so that was candidate Pat Ryan, who won his race on Tuesday in the New York 19th, talking about Donald Trump in the affidavit, which could be released today at noon Eastern. Welcome back into Wake Up America. With the midterms now 75 days away, a possible dent in the projected red wave coming in November. Democrat Pat Ryan beating Republican Mark Molinaro in a special election in New York's 19th congressional district. Is this really a sign of things to come? Joining us now, Republican congressional candidate and Dutchess County Executive Mark Molinaro with us. Mark, good morning. Great to have you on. Good morning. Glad to be on with you. Uh, Mark, I, I, I know that your name is right back on the ballot in November, uh, so this is not over yet by any stretch. Um, but do you consider this race, what happened on Tuesday in the 19th District, to be a bellwether of things to come? Listen, there were very unique circumstances. This is a special election held in the middle of August during two Democratic primaries. The My opponent two days ago was also running in a primary in an entirely different district, and Democrat turnout was just, you know, just a hair higher than I think uh, we could have uh, expected. And and I, I don't know. I, I Personally, I, I wouldn't read that much into it. I, I think ultimately uh, they were just uh, a bit more energized during a time when, quite frankly, uh, many Republicans and many, by the way, non-enrolled voters thought they couldn't vote at all. Uh, so we're off to November. Uh, and um, listen, the, the folks in upstate New York and Americans know that uh, one party rule in Washington and in this case, Albany, continues to make more, life more difficult for them. Yeah, such an interesting district, too. Uh, <laughs> sort of blue in the south and red in the north. Um, take a look at this. The Philadelphia Inquirer says that more women are now registering, this is in Pennsylvania, after the Roe versus Wade decision. Uh, Pat Ryan, boy, did he ever run on abortion. Um, how big a problem is that for Republicans on November 8th? You know, I think I will say this. Rather than avoiding the topic, I think we have to talk honestly uh, about what uh, whether, whether we are male or female candidates, what we believe and why we believe it and connect with people on this issue. I, I do think that is an important lesson. You know, the, the world changed. And whether you were uh, identified as, as pro-life or pro-choice, whether, uh, no, whether you agreed with the Supreme Court decision or not, having an honest conversation about it, about what we value in life and about life, I think it's important for Republicans. I think that we have to connect with people and explain to them that we care deeply about uh, uh, about this uh, this issue and and how now do we navigate the new landscape? Okay, so the world changed, but look at this. After that Roe v. Wade decision, Joe Biden's approval rating exactly the same: forty two percent in an NBC News poll that came out Monday. Okay, and it was forty two percent in the same NBC News poll that came out in May. So is what Pat uh, Ryan did in the 19th district, is that the Democratic playbook over the next 75 days? Run away from Joe Biden, run hard on Roe v. Wade. Well, I think it's the playbook they're going to try, and running away from Joe Biden is probably in their best interest. What Republicans have to do, what we what we did, and I know that the House Republicans are, are are going to do, is explain why running toward us is the better option, holding government accountable, addressing the high cost of living. People are exhausted not only by inflation, but by talking about inflation. They do also want solutions. I know the House Republican Conference wants to deliver a commitment to America, this, this concept that we can drive down costs, we can make less life easier. We can get government out of your pockets and out of your way right. and ultimately hold uh, this administration accountable. That's got to be our playbook. It's what we tried to develop over a very short time during two Democratic primaries. Right. But I'm confident it's what's going to help us in November. Yeah, it's so fascinating. There's this notion on the left that uh, these independent and more moderate voters are suddenly going to become one issue Roe v. Wade voters instead of voting on the economy and inflation. Um, OK, national audience, Mark, Take us through what's going on with you right now, because you are still a candidate, even though you weren't successful on Tuesday. Yeah, we knew that uh, the special election was going to be tight, but I remain a candidate in the 19th congressional district. Ironically, Pat Ryan now is a candidate in the 18th congressional district south of us. Uh, so we've been off and running. I, I started last September, committed to the upstate New York communities, uh, and we're going to go strong right through the finish. Uh, this is a part of the state that knows what it's like to be ignored by government. 
Uh, and they don't want politicians talking at them. They want politicians and their and their representative working with them. Uh, and that's what we're focused on. Listen, I'm just as angry as most New upstate New Yorkers. The governor only two days ago said, if you don't share her ideology, you don't belong in New York. You're not a New Yorker. Wow. Well, listen, uh, we're a little bit, uh, we're, we're tired of that kind of arrogance. So we're pushing ahead through November. We're going to deliver a strong message. And mostly, we're going to go to battle for the people of upstate New York. Yeah, so interesting. So you and both Pat Ryan could be uh, representing the state of New York in Congress. Congress uh, after November the 8th. Um, come back and see us. I enjoyed having you on this morning. We appreciate it. Mark Molinero, good luck to you. Thanks very much.